good afternoon. Well, if you're looking for rain at the moment, you're going to be disappointed because most of this week is going to stay dry. It's not completely dry now, though, because we do have a frontal system moving into northwest Scotland and Northern Ireland. That's going to bring a little bit of rain. But as it moves southeast, it's going to weaken, and this area of high pressure moving in from the northwest is going to dominate the weather right through this coming week. Drifting only slowly southeast and staying quite an intense feature for most of this week before again we see another weak cold front come into the north during Friday and possibly a front coming into the southwest too, but that's only a remote possibility. So we have seen dry weather this year so far, completely so in Manchester really, with only 7.7 millimetres so far. The previous driest, the cold winter of 1963, 11.3 millimetres. And that is, in fact, likely to be the driest weather on record. That's since records began in 1877. The average of this time of year, well, way in excess of what we've got now, 67 millimetres. The sunshine still baking down across Manchester right through the afternoon, and indeed many parts of England and Wales. We have got some thin cloud, though, East Anglia, and also one or two patches of cloud around the coast of the southeast, and indeed southwestern parts of England. But thicker cloud further northwest through Northern Ireland and many parts of Scotland, and that's producing some rain. Now, temperatures varying widely from only 3 degrees in that dull weather through southeastern coast to a high of 14 degrees in some sheltered parts of northwest Wales. And those variations are likely to continue over this uh, next week. Tonight, though, with clear skies, fog again a problem across central parts of England and Wales. But we will find that band of rain in the north edging into the far north of England and indeed into some parts of Northern Ireland. To the north of that, a frost, and again a frost across many inland parts of England and Wales. Looking ahead to Monday, well, that fog perhaps rather slow to clear from some places, but where it does, it'll be dry and bright with some sunshine. The far northern parts of England starting off rather cloudy, possibly some spots of rain, but that'll thin. It'll brighten up, I think, by the end of the day. Now, on to Tuesday, after early fog and frost, again, a dry and bright day with some sunshine, and it's the area of high pressure, which I've shown you before, is responsible for that. That's going to hold firm right through the middle of the week, so again, dry weather with some sunshine. Now, the fog and frost is going to be a problem because some areas will have some sunny days. Others could keep the fog for much of the day and stay rather chilly. That front coming uh, southward likes to bring some spots of rain and also in the far southwest. So summarising that, another largely dry week, some sunshine, but watch out for that overnight fog and frost.